D. A, A. Who needs a key card when you have your face? That's all it takes to open a room at Alibaba's Fly Zoo Hotel in eastern Zhejiang province. Sam Wong and his grandparents are among the first guests. It's really very convenient. We don't have to waste our time waiting in lines. Stepping inside is like stepping into the future. A smart speaker controls the room's lights, TV and curtains. But it doesn't end there. Customers can check into automatic machines in the lobby and robots offer meal delivery. Or they can serve you in the restaurant and pour you a drink. FlyZoo is one of an increasing number of hotels worldwide using smart technology. And that worries some. This kind of smart hotel faces risks of customer information leakage. Hotels will never leak or sell personal info, but some hackers may attack the Internet and steal information. So we already consider considering about this kind of issue. First of all, we will completely comply with the local government policy and the local law. That is one. The secondly, with our system capabilities, because you know all of our system we are cloud-based, we have more and more strong capability to protect those data and the privacy from our individual guests. There's also another issue of security, job security that is. Could robots replace human employees? I'm not worried about this. Machines and robots can only do some repetitive and programmatic work. The robots can save us a lot of time so that we can provide more quality and customized service for our customers. The hotel says the technology allows it to be much more efficient than its competitors. And guests seem to be embracing it. On its first day, FlyZoo's rooms are almost all booked. And if you're interested in a reservation, well, robots can help with that, too. Francis Coe, CGTN.